Hi everybody, it's JP from Nyobe Gaming, and we'll be continuing onwards with New World. Now, this is basically literally where we left off last, and I'm still level 6, I haven't increased my level yet since then, but I was thinking of doing from about level 1 to level 10, the constant playthrough, and then basically at level 10 i'll start doing my farming and all that but from farming i meaning gathering materials so that i can do the side quests and all that just to get to a little bit higher level and then once i'm at a little bit higher level we will be then continuing recording and uploading these videos for now we're just basically trying to get to our first settlement as good old watch our lace and reese good old watch our lace and reese says there's a town i'll head there and sell this loot i'll set your part aside until you get there for my part i'll be saving up for a ship to escape this hellish island oh i heard a lot of stuff from watch our lace and reese but i don't believe even half of it besides captain grace o'malley never met a storm she couldn't navigate i'll find a way you can come with have it your way, hero. I just hope you don't end up as one of those monsters yourself. Don't worry about me burning you on the loot. You did me a favour and I'm good for it. As long as you survive, that is. I'll be there. Okay. Grab some flint. Yep, that way. Looks like the ping is a little bit bad today, but that's fine, we will see if we can play. Hey, you gave it a try at least. Ugh, that Grace O'Malley's a pirate to the bone. Doesn't care about anyone but herself. Looking at the corrupt and massing here, however, neither her nor anyone else will be safe if this keeps up. The storm is centered right above these caves, no doubt about it. And I suspect some foul magic is afoot in there. The place reeks of charred bones and unbridled brutality. I don't know. If we both fall in there, there'll be no one to get word to town. I certainly don't trust that pirate to do so. I say we head back to town and recruit as many sword arms as we can, and then come back. Damn it, I'd forbid it. But I fear you're right. Their numbers are growing too fast. Go then, but be quick about it. Look for the source of the storm and destroy it. I'll meet you back at the watchtower. God speed, my friend. Yeah, you're just scared. That's all. Alright, so, strangely enough, this is one of the skins that you get once you watch your first two hours on Twitch. Very, very strange looking helmet. I'm just gonna go with the normal one. Quite a high full. I 
wonder if um, we'll be able to climb up here. No, it doesn't look like it. shall witness the power manifest the true future of the human race I think I'm gonna have a deadly reach next time.
You steal that which is mine. You assault my followers. And now you disrupt my plans. This is personal. I like making things personal, so that's fine. I'm definitely not going to go for the gauntlets. No magic base, I'm basically just gonna go straight forward for melee. Melee and range of the spear. I saw the storm receding. I knew you had triumphed. What was in there? Some kind of abomination? A corruption rift? Oh, I've heard legends of such things from way back. And you disrupted it. That's a story fit for legend right there, I'd say. Uh, you have no idea what a relief this is. I didn't want to sound pessimistic, but... Nothing like this has happened in the 300 years I've been here. Those who've been here longer, the ones who haven't been driven mad by all the years, they tell horror stories about the corrupted. It seems that centuries ago, some dark sorcerer nearly corrupted everyone on the island. I suspect we'll see more corrupted in the future. But let's hope we can prevent such darkness as the legends speak of. Still, I'll write a report for the town. Tell them the storm's receded, but to remain vigilant. Ah, uh, I hate to ask you to be the bearer of bad tidings, but I should stay here. Just deliver the report to the guard at the gate. Then get yourself a nice cup of mead at the tavern. You deserve it. Okay, to string the sign, weapon mastery. My spear, my sword, and shield is more or less the same. Okay. Let's just do one thing. Let's remove this skin. Oh yeah. Okay, so I believe we are heading to our very first town. Come closer. It is time you know the whole truth. This island has always guarded the promise of paradise. Humanity cast out, deemed unworthy of such blessings. But I did not come here seeking paradise. I came for answers. Redemption after a life of weakness and suffering. And I found a truth that disproved everything I had been taught. 
I tasted the knowledge forbidden to us at creation, and I saw the vision of humanity's true potential. I knew then. I must correct this ancient injustice and restore the power which is rightfully ours. The heart of the mountain now beats strong with this purpose. After a century of preparation, our campaign has begun. The island's townships already fall before the might of our armies. The only thing I had not foreseen is you. You, who have stolen the gift meant for me. And now your soul will pay the price. For I will not stop until I have seized back the destiny stolen from us and brought true freedom to the world, both old and new. Oh, honestly, that woman sounds very, very crazy. of Eternum have never been safe. But the roads? I've never seen anything like this before today. Vicious bulls came out of nowhere, ate all me truffles. How should I know? Do I look like some kind of boar mind reader? <laughs> Not me. I'm just a simple traveling herbalist. Tell you this much, however, the beasts have ruined me for the season. You mean... You'd help old hapless Al? <laughs> Why, yes, you're a saint. Take my sickle, hunt up some truffles, and bring them to the settlement. Oh, uh, gather any herbs or berries you see for yourself as well. They'll fetch a gold or two at the trading post. Thank you. Luckily, I already have. Oh. And we've got some stone. I don't really think that's how truffle lo <laughs> truffles looks like. I'm not sure, but those things are huge. So third truffle, truffle number four.
this thing does a lot of damage though. Seriously. gonna need to get my gathering speed up. Welcome to Pride Wing. Founded during the reign of the High King. In his report, why, we have just learned the true heir to the throne is returning to the region. This is a day we have been awaiting for centuries, and a sign of new hope even during these troublesome times. Oh, I could recount the legends for days, but <laughs> I must dispatch someone to the shore now. Oh, the night regent is indisposed, but uh, Minister Locknear runs. Okay, so it looks like we are able to upgrade territories. Okay. So we get house ownership. There's my new friend right here. All oh, the truffles I lost and then some. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too hard. Uh, uh, keep that sickle for your troubles. And if you make a habit of harvesting herbs and such, we'll cross paths again. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> 
And we have reached level 8. Hallelujah. Okay, so one in dexterity and one in constitution. Hey, we've got a territory upgraded again. Okay, let's see. XP gain. Earn more XP gain while in Monarch's Bluffs. Increase gathering speed. I think I'm going to go for increased gathering speed because seriously. Or XP. I'm not sure which one. 3% more, 5% more. I think we're going for the gathering. Okay, so this is how our very first town looks like. It's actually quite beautiful. Faces to pride win in one day. Many a year since I've seen that. But these are special times. After centuries, the true heir returns, and the royal bloodline will once again sit upon the throne. Forgive me, I take it for granted all are aware. The heir is Sir Gawain himself, most gallant of the High King's knights. You will have the honor to see his homecoming and the return of Pridewind's glory after many dark years. Across the centuries, I've watched the light fade from Monarch's bluffs in the absence of a true ruler. Of course, the Night Regent has done all she can with my wise counsel, and now our patience will soon be rewarded. Only a matter of days. I'm personally attending to preparations even now, as is my duty. Tradition is everything, wouldn't you say? One such custom I've established is that we offer our guests a complimentary room at the inn. Thank you, I appreciate that. You'll find the inn quite hospitable. I hand-selected the innkeep a few decades ago, so by all means, check in and have a warm meal by the fire. I must attend to other matters now, but we will speak again. Godspeed. Corruption will claim them all. Warning them is a futile effort. They are blind to the real danger all around them. Okay, so we've selected nine projects that we need to complete. So acquire cook's need. Okay. Acquire energizing travel rations. Six coin. Welcome to the Regent's Rise. Sleep here and wake up feeling like a king. <laughs> you here to check in? Be my guest. Ooh, literally. <laughs> now there's a familiar face. About time you caught up. Here we find ourselves in a little village pulled straight from the Middle Ages. Is it me? Or does nothing on this island make any sense at all? No doubt. For a place where everyone gets eternal life, you'd think it'd be more calm, dull even. Not saying I'd like that, mind you. One thing that is the same, though, is cold, hard coin. You have it or you don't. Makes all the difference. 
We're both a little light in the pocket, but I did sell that loot we collected, so there's your share. Never let it be said, Grace O'Malley doesn't pay her debts. Well, you got that coin I just gave you, so I'd suggest you get to spending it. Buy yourself a new blade, some new boots, whatever suits your fancy. Post out there, livelier market than I would have expected. You should check out the trading post yourself, and if you need to stash anything, there's a storage shed too. Go on, I'll be here. Okay, so here's the storage shed. Hey, 50 coin. What a bargain. Not really like I can sell anything at the moment, so... Okay. Let's go speak to Grace O'Malley. Look at you! Here just a few hours and you're already the most popular person in town. You had a caller while you were out. That overly chipper knight from the town gate dropped by, says he wants to have a word with you. That Sir Payne and Minister Locklear talk this place up like it's got a grand history and a bright future. But I'm not buying it. Word in the tavern is that Pride Wind's overrun with people fleeing from trouble at the outlying farms. Sounds like some kind of plague. People turning on their friends and neighbours with cold murder in their eyes. Unlike those red-eyed bastards on the beach, these folks aren't possessed. Seems like they don't have any soul. I didn't trust all the shite coming out of that watcher's mouth. Well, maybe there was some truth to it. Ask Sir Payne about these soulless lost outside town. Maybe get a more honest idea of what's happening here. Trading text. Decrease trading text in Monarch's Bluff. Session. Decrease crafting fee in Merchant's Bluff. Yeah, we're gonna have that. Get rid of all these hides that I, or boars that I've slain. All their pelts or rough hides, that, like they would say. As technically speaking, I need 30 of it, so I still need seven to go. Okay. Well, I need a 50 and a 30, so technically I need 80. Wow, that's a lot. That is quite a lot. Number two is there, number three is there. Thank you. 
Ah, excellent to see you again. Ah, well, perhaps Miss O'Malley can be trusted after all. As to you, however, the Watcher's report guarantees it. In fact, the Night Regent would like to discuss a rather hmm, delicate situation, if you're willing. Oh, so you have heard the unfortunate news from outlying areas. I'm sorry to hear that. We try not to worry newcomers with such things, but we've even had some knights who failed to report in. Yes, well, uh, I hope, uh, well, <laughs> I mean, I have the utmost confidence this will be cleared up before the air arrives. <laughs> I think the Night Regent simply wants to take precautions. Uh, please speak with her when you can. Okay, let's go to this night. And be welcome. I will never forget the way this island tested me when I first arrived. I strive to ensure we are patient with newcomers. And in these times, our customs are even more difficult to observe. That is good to hear. I believe Sir Payne represents us well, in the spirit of everything Pridewen stands for. However, with all the anticipation surrounding Sir Gawain's return, we risk letting our optimism turn into denial. For weeks now, we've heard horror stories from people fleeing the farms, grieving the loved ones that turned on them. Behind their words, I sense a suppressed longing to surrender their own souls to despair. We offer shelter, comfort, and we dispatched knights to secure the roads, and many never returned. Minister Lochner counsels patience. He believes the royal bloodline will solve all problems, but I feel I must act. The mines are the backbone of Pride One, where many townspeople earn their livelihoods. I've had no reports in days. I simply ask you visit and confirm with Foreman Alia that all is well. Then report back to me, please. Yeah, I remember that we need to repair our items. Be. You match the description. People talk around here, you know. They say you've been quite a help, and I was like, well, why haven't they helped me? But then I realized, silly Geary, it's because you haven't asked. Yes, honey. Honey so delicious, it's called devil's honey. I have a special reserve up on Hiraiath Lookout. Collect my honeycombs, and I'll give you some to taste. Okay. Let's go for that one there first, number three. It's very far out of the way.
to get a lot more rawhide for completing those two quests. It's about four raw height to make one coarse leather, so it's gonna take a while to actually get all that we need. damage though. Well not really that much but Shield Bash or Defensive Resolve? Are we gonna go for Shield Bash? I think we're gonna go for Shield Bash. Did not assign it. I forgot to assign it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm actually trying to level you at the moment. Getting a lot of XP though. I think it's time to head back that way. Can we recall? Recall to any? Yes, we can. Okay, that's actually great news. Definitely gonna go for craft gathering speed. Let's level up our character and my dexterity is already on level 14. Nice. But I believe that's due to part of the equipment that I currently have. Yeah, dexterity and intelligence. Okay, so I need to actually keep an eye out on the equipment because if I if I add this I lose my armor and my elemental my armor from my elemental my physical which I don't want to lose so I'm not going to equip that I'll most probably sell that let's see if we can sell something like this where's the trading post Oh wait, there's the trading post. So let's sell armor. Okay, sell order placed. Interesting. Okay, now we'll just wait and see if somebody buys it and... Bob will be your uncle. Okay guys, this is where we will be ending our stream for today, or our recording. We will be continuing this once I've increased my level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate now basically on doing gathering, crafting, and all that. I'm going to leave the main storyline out, like the main storyline as it is. So basically this main story and the side stories I'm going to leave for now. But I'm basically just going to concentrate now on the town project. Just to increase my level a little bit and then as well as see if I can get better equipment. Because it's technically a farming... Uh, any MMO is basically you need to grind to get better equipment and better gear. Um levels so anyway thanks for watching everybody please remember to like share subscribe and comment well like comment and subscribe it really means a lot and have a great day cheers everybody